So how much property is the castle itself on, Mr. Banks? Okay, I think I think it may be it may be six to sixteen acres. That yeah, the castle is on. Yeah. Well apart from back. I can't uh, this wildlife where he is for deer and stuff. Right. I got deer back there, they wonder out easier, you know. And uh, I got blueberry bushes, I've got about sixty of them. And that's for the tears. They're little right now. They didn't do too good last year, but year four last, them little bitty bushes had like 150 to 300 berries on each one of them. And uh, I did was planting apple trees. I think the old man said, man, he says, what are you doing? I said, plant these trees for people to pick. He said, y'all ain't going to get no seven years. <laughs> so, Get you some blueberries. If you get blueberries, you get them in the bucket. They'll buy the first year. They got to be in the bucket, so you know. That's true. That's that. So I started that, and uh, I done. I had about twelve apple trees planted there over your head now. But like you said, I don't think the pale horseman is in this building down here. This thing will be unbelievable. But you gonna get to look at the pale horseman. The pale horseman. Now he's on earth now. You wonder what's happened to Israel now? They're fighting for their life. The weather's ain't good. Inflation ain't good. He, he's going to do his job. You know what I mean? He's on earth now because we can look up down here and see him. Oh, it's, uh, you look around and see everything. Oh, yeah. What you see him, but now when the governor won't let him give me this, they let him give me a lie detector test. And I told him that that was the flight horseman. Yeah. And he didn't show up as a lie. Now, he wasn't the one that strapped on your voice sound like Right, that right. A backpack like him. They asked me. They right. had a lady with him, so it wouldn't scare me to death. Right. Okay, anyway, I told him that was a white horseman. He said it showed up as true because I see who I thought it was. Right. Then when I looked in the Bible, the Bible says a pale horseman will have a sword. This old boy's holding up sword. Bring death to the world. He's got a skull in the other hand. Right. I know right then who the old boy was. That's right. And then when he arrived out, I painted around his waist because you want know, to put the black around that stuff. And the reason I painted around his waist, when he came here, the horse wasn't with him. And I think Christ was saying he ain't riding on his horse now, right? You know, he came by himself. I right. He painted around his waist. You know, I put paint around him. Don't bother them. I just painted around so people could see him. Didn't have to. They close as they could be. And uh, I couldn't remember even that day what I had for breakfast. Mm. Five minutes of tough questions. You see what I'm getting at? That's right. That's uh, that is just amazing that the... That, uh, it's just leading you in, letting you know what it, what time it is. Oh, right, here. This last morning, what I was going to get, I go to the reason I'm building, I get everything up. I had, well, 16 acres step making, and I couldn't give this to this Christ. He said, why do you give that away? This Christ is built. Yeah, you, you can't, you can't you, give that away. Hey, you get, a, you get a speech on that weekend, you won't believe. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Can't give his building away. And, and walking through the archway, and yeah, I had a little boy there. He got some bean. I had to give him back to his mother. You know, my mother adopted him because his mother, his mother had heart trouble, and he wasn't merely stable. But the little fella, he just cursed. And I built him a little castle. So I turned it into a jail. Because <laughs> teenagers like to go in there and look through the bars. You know, right. Teenagers. But you see it one time. It's a little castle, and there's that wall on this side. He said, "Beautiful." That is. This is this is in like a, like you would call a garden or something in here. This is just beautiful. And you see my thumbprint even in that block. Or see that's not done with the groovers. You see how that's done with your thumb. Yeah, every bottle of that thumb is where you catch one around it. Mm. And this right here is if you still the horn take my thumb here. You can see that, yes. Uh, that's either a groover or a broom. But I think professionals use a little broom or something there, you know. I, and that goes all the way up to the top of the tire there. And, and okay. you've been up and down many a times on ladders and okay. stuff. There was three, they three chimneys here. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, I used this in several times. But the rest of them, if you build a fireplace, you one man crew to something this big, you test it one time, then you really like to be able to go back to it. No more. You're right. <laughs> no more get the time. That's right. <laughs> and here's what I've done. I mean, I need to clean that. We said that cleaned up when I showed up. But them are all the golf balls where you yeah. spelt. There's that sign too. I need golf balls. Spelt Jesus Christ is King with the golf balls. And that round front, it shows up even better. You took a picture here, did you? See yeah, it? I did, yeah. Okay. And, uh, 
I should have had this cleaned up so it'd look better so you could take that there, you know. Oh, that is that is good. I, I've got. I'm gonna come back through here with the camera in a little bit and just take pictures. And there's another cannon. This, cannon, it, uh, this ain't representing Bible, so they'll come see that for the real Christ's work. You know what I mean? Right. I've got snakes coming out of the castle with carved out of concrete. Because they'll come see that. Then they come here, I can show them government documents. I can show them floating tree. I can show them Christ's messages. And then that's all I can do for them. The old house here, they were the, some people didn't have nowhere to go one time. And I had a camper that was just an old camper, almost a trailer. He had right. And so I gave him some lumber. And I told him, I said, well, if you put yourself together there pretty quick, and they got the trailer parts, I said, uh, I won't charge you no rent, you'll get free water. And by the time we got the wood not plumbed done, or somebody else give a better deal. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm stuck with that for the one man crew. You just can't, you can't hardly do it all by yourself. No, you just got to work. Now, you know, some of them bottles I said about yeah. that over there. I'll be out across the road, these big boxes full of them. But you see a lot of that food stuff there. I'll let you know it's just a one man crew. You know. Right. And that's that's what's amazing. One man, you think ain't no way in the world one man ought to be able to do that. That's right. You see them stuff here. They come and spray confetti, but they do this and they do that. All you gotta do is watch them a week to two weeks. See, he gonna stop them if God stops. If God stops anybody from doing wrong, I he was gonna go rob a bank. We asked him to stop us. He would stop us. If we did, he's not going to stop us, and here's why. If he stopped me and you, it could never be a judgment. You know, it's going to be a judgment because if he stops me and you, that took the fairness away from the rest of everybody else. That's he true. Stop everybody. That is true. And he can't do that. He's got to be free will. That tree, he's, he's not forcing his will here, but he's huh. showing us something we can look at. You're right. And say, hey, that's the last chance you all want to get. So you better take it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> You see, it's one man through here. And I got a little sign on a wall out there. I've got a trail down there. I got a trail that goes back in the woods back to the other pretty good fur, you know. And on each side, it's, it's about three or four hundred feet now, the trail is. And on each side, I got the Easter lilies will come up and I'll count the leaves will be off the trees in the spring. I got two rows of Easter lilies on each side of that trail. It goes through the woods, the other. Uh, and, uh, but to get through all 16 acres with one man crew, you know, you just got to eat it in a little bit of time. Right? It is hard to do. One man do it all. It's, yeah. You can't yeah, hardly do little, it. There's one little blueberry bushes you see. Yes. The other, they're on the other side. See the little yes, bushes. sir. I had a maze here. A maze built out of bamboo poles. Uh-huh. These are bamboo poles, so you didn't have to waste them fall like you do a corn maze. So they stay green. But see, I let it get out of control. And he's telling us a maze here. See how beautiful he went in through there? And it doesn't take long to get out of control like right. that. And can you imagine the little kids, the little kids hollering in there and getting lost? And then you <laughs> tell the mother for a hug, you go in there and get them out. <laughs> 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 then I got two signs in there. One of them says, if you are lost, if you get lost, dial VR459 and we'll come and get you in a boat. <laughs> Another says, you don't realize it, but you're lost. Go back and try again. <laughs> <laughs> You'll realize it when you try it again. Yeah. <laughs> now, people come about telling me things on the mail. I did. Christ, Christ, I can't draw the humans. I drew these. They ain't traced. I took a nail. You see how nails scraped on there? Uh-huh. I took a nail. I mean, you think I could go with humans. I got some beautiful Egyptians down here. People love the Egyptians. You know how they love Egyptians. Right. Big wall for Egyptians. Big Egyptians. And I got this year drawn people. There was a pretty girl up there. I was going to try to take her away from him. She must have escaped. Yeah, she, either that they took her. Or she escaped or she fell off the backside. <laughs> anyway, I decided to leave her alone. So look out. He looked like he keys. <laughs> he looked like he might be mad if you get his girl. Yeah. So I'm going to, hey. Well, few oh God, I just hold on to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I, I always tell people, you see anything with nails? Christ don't have to have nails. If you see something like I showed you on front. And at one time, there was only 100 people a year. I come here. That's way back. Yeah. And they'd want their names up there. And I'd, I'd, they'd leave it on a piece of paper, or hand me a piece of paper, and I'd put their names up. But now, when he goes from five to 7,000 people a year, I just can't do You just it. can't keep up with them. But you got a lot of names on the wall. Oh, yeah. And uh, 
kids they climb. I got no climb signs everywhere, but you wouldn't believe they still climb. Oh, they got yeah. Kids <laughs> yeah. are going to be kids, and they knock some of these off. See how some of them been knocked. And off. you tell them not to do something, you know, kids going to do it. Well, you got that right. I would put them on climb the wall. <laughs> climb the wall, they won't. Yeah. You know, but you just got some beautiful archways and doorways and. Yeah, now part of this, this, I'm saying that people come see this for the real price they work. They get some here and then I can show them government documents, government pictures, documents, and uh, just, just get them here. They'll come see that first for the real price they work. Am I right? You're right. I get to lay something. Yeah, I'm a gypsy. We get closer to me. It's that big old wall full so you get a chance. Huh? And I had a pantry here, but the food didn't. I went to cans and cans in there. And I got to replace them. I still got some left. I usually raise a garden get for food. Well, you see a pack free food, right. free food there. And stuff. Well, we'll come back on that wall down there in a minute. And... Let's see. Let me show you. Let me show you something. Here's unbelievable. Okay. Here's something that can't happen. You know, like that tree. Right. Okay. Now, if it's if it don't work, you can cut it out of the film. Right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is it is regular cards. Ain't no trick cards here because a trick cards, the ones that are doing it knows how it works. Right. I have no idea when everybody <laughs> sees this there's no idea. Okay, this they're uh, they're just a regular cards. Okay, if you would good buddy, would you cut these for me here in a minute? Yes, sir. Let me cut them here and then you cut them. Cut them anywhere you want to, just stack like a little word. If you would, cut them again. What we do, we mix them numbers up so those cards can't be stacked. All right. right. All right, if you would, cut them at least one more. We could cut them 20 times, but we don't do all that. Right. Know. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, watch my hands. Are you going to believe what you fit to see? I'm not changing anything. I'm just going to break them in two piles. So watch, it. watch my hands here. I'm going to wet the plum and shake it. <laughs> now, I didn't change nothing, right? Nothing at all. Them cards. There's no way in the world them cards should be stacked. If we could cut them 15, 12, 15, or 20 times. I could do a deck this way, but see, we'd have to have the whole table. Right. Time or two. Now, hope, just hope this works out here, okay? Because you're not going to believe, you're not going to believe what she's going to see here. I hope it works out. I believe it's good. Hmm. Remind me not to play poker with you. <laughs> <laughs> that, is a, that is amazing. I mean, it can't happen. We could cut, what we cut them 15 times? It, would, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, it would come out just like this. It would have. It's hard to get them in pirates, but look, them things is, them things is in sequences here. So. Yeah. See, Jack, Green King, 8, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, remind me not to play poker with you. Did you like to see me do this blindfolding? No, that's, I think you you don't got me enough to know. I know I don't need to play cards with you. Put them together, cut them four or five times. I can put them on the back at the same time. We, you, know, I can, you know I can do it. Though. Oh, I know you can. I don't know how it works. That ain't a trick. I ain't holding that tree up out there. Somebody said, you're a musician. Uh -huh. I thank God let me know how to do this. They just didn't explain to me because they know I wouldn't understand how it works. He just said, you don't need to understand, you just do it. Yeah. What if we cut that 20 times, them numbers is everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And and they would have still popped up like that because that's what he wanted. Oh, yeah. And I could do the whole day, but see, you'd have to spread the whole table. And yeah, stuff. yeah. I'm consuming it. Is that sure good in your camera? That did. That did. Uh, Come on in. Huh? Let me, uh, I'm going to look at this wall back here. Well, let me look at this here real quick. There's, so we'll make a circle out through there anyway, okay, I'm sure. I'll show you the okay. Yeah. It's up to you now. You no, I'm, I'm, I'm following you, and then I'm going to come back I'm through. Follow <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow you, and I'll come back through and just take some pictures, and That's I want to see the documents. And okay, now I got electricity here. Uh, somebody put me up the uh, solar lights. 
Now I looked one day, I had the remote, and I was pushing the remote, and I said, hey, that thing ain't working. He did the other day. I looked up there and they were gone. I said, if I know this is going to steal my lights, <laughs> I left the remote out here for <laughs> I didn't even hear behind that thing was there, you know? I don't even get to sweep the floors, but uh, if you would, look, look at this here. If I walked up to you and told you this, the names of the people that's been here. Yeah. And like I said, there's 43 countries. Of, the Russians though, ain't been here in a year and a half. The virus stopped them first for two years when the virus first started. You know? Right. And if I walked up, and remember, they ain't half of them signing. Right. I definitely want to sign it before I leave. Oh, right. I'd be honored. Yeah, I ain't bored all the way through here, but you see it. No, that, that is fine. I, I see that they, everybody's signing that. Okay, I think you've got your face here. here. This is, this is, these books ain't even over here. It's out yep. of the bag. So we'll keep that time when we get to sign that as well. Okay, we'll sign it. Now, you see a lot of stuff for Halloween. The ladies got a lot of babies. You can see some of them before they live. You want me to just sign right here? If you don't care, one of them pins will write what I do, I think. I got a bunch more that night. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. That's got it signed. All right. If you would, I don't know who we're allowed to. You know, I was telling you about the government officials. Right. But now, this is in the book. This is in the book, but I don't know who we call names. But you see, it's a big old university. Look what they said. We have pictures that pop up. We have pictures that popping up there. Does that show up good in the camera? Yeah. Yeah. Now, can you see them lying? They're not going to lie. You know, I was telling you, the government, they call a, got a picture of the Holy Ghost standing in the door carrying the old book. And they said, it's federal officials. Federal officials sitting in this big university. And you see what they say. And look at all the things that's happened here. I have found 22,000 Earl heads. I give them to the museums here. Look at the. But here's what it looked like before I started to give them three museums. Right. And this is over in Greenback right here. Now, the pale horseman, when we get to him, here's what he looks like. Let's look how clever the old boy is. See the sickle and the sword in his hands? He's yeah. Got off. He's on the wall down there. That's letting us know. Hey, he's on earth now. That's right. He's here. And I'll tell you about the movie, so, uh, you know, Fatal Attraction is the right. biggest one right here. Here's one that's on the big screen here, and look, he won filmmaker one time. I believe he's had them point to I can't see it good. He won filmmaker of the year, stay in this hand. You see that on there? Yep. I see the artist of the year. It is just amazing what is the stuff that has been proven, you know. Yeah. Now, they was all afraid of me for a while, but they're getting to come back. The news, local news, they used to be here all the time. And then the people above them, they're good people for stations, but the people above them got scared at us. Yeah. But now they're getting one the back because the channel of the day to tell you about they come back here and the them. So they're getting and you see the local T V people used to be here and you see newspapers used to be here, but they they're uh, back shy a little bit now. But now you you're making up for that man so <laughs> I don't you see the day though. Well I just get a I, I think it's just so cool and these people need to know about it. Hey, they better know about it, man. This is what I say, they're going to get it. You tell me, you sit for them down Christmas and see some nice stuff. I celebrated his birthday here every day, but I got Christmas lights with the bugs burn out. I can't even see the wall, part. So, could you see me find the bug that's burned out? <laughs> and your other words, look, that these lights will be flashing up stars and all the world all through here. I, I like the way you got this down here done. Oh, you see that newspaper getting on the tool that wall? A little bit of everything, huh? Now, people brought their loved ones' ashes here. I don't know who. Then somebody come and got some of them. I hope it's a family because I figured they, they're going to steal them and get the two in front. You see the empty space nowhere? Right. That empty space had that. And them are ashes? Yeah, loved ones. I don't know that. They just brought them here and left them with you. Yeah, because they know this is God's building. But now, some of them either changed their mind or their uncle or aunt. Because I figured if somebody had stolen them, they got the ones in front. You see the empty space back there. That went all the way to the wall. See the empty space? Yep, yep. So they probably got that. So, and truth is, they bring out you know, like thousands and thousands. You see some of them now in these things. Well, they are in good hands here. 
Let's see, if it ain't too strong for your paper, would you like to see Joe's? You know Joe's with the Bible. Yeah. You know, would you like to see what he looks like? Yeah, most definitely. Look at this good thing. This can't happen. Look right here first, Eddie. See me in that there? Look at that. Now, you know, I put the black paint around them. I had to paint red around him because that beard, see the beard that come that big old Egyptian beard? Uh-huh. Okay, how do you know this is Egyptian? Uh, Joseph. Okay, he was second man of all of Egypt, right? Right. And if you're second man, you're going to have a black beard like the Pharaoh. Right. Did you see his black beard? I did. All right, if you're second man, they're going to give you a top hat. Yeah, I was saying. Yes. And you said, well, how do you know I ain't just an Egyptian? That mother Egyptian got cobra snakes on her headgear. Look what he's got. A big old wumble bird is trying to fly away. Did you see it on his headgear? Up there? I do. It just looks like it's trying to fly off. Yeah. And that's let you know that's Joseph. You look around what he'd look like, man. And, and he's showing you all, all this here now. Yeah, and you'll see Moses. Somebody got a good one, Moses. Now, this, came, this just came up here. You know, I take a lot to take it. And I'm pretty sure I put the red. If I put the black around, it's the beard that's been gone. Right. And see, they come with you, so that's evidence. And so I had to put red. But now, I didn't even have to put anything around. As you can see him just playing his name, probably left the paint off. Yeah. And because look how clear he is. Ain't that something, man? That is. You know, you can lay a lot of light stickers down here, buddy. That's yeah. fascinating. Here's a. Here's something else. You know, if we sent out a thousand people today for, for twenty years, ten thousand people, they couldn't find a they couldn't find a safe. Did that show good the camera too? Yeah. I just wanted to take that because it had a flash with it. Okay. It's kinda of, it's kinda of going back a little bit too, ain't it? Going back a little bit. Though. See that one came through good right there with Joseph. Okay, well they changed the picture there now. So. Oh uh, yeah, I just so Okay. I didn't, I didn't erase it, but I did it. No, no, it's there. Okay, here's a... I'll tell you, some rare things. We could sit out 20 or 2,000 people in the 1,000 years. They probably couldn't find a saber tea tiger, right? Right. If you're only fishing. Well, I don't fish now because Christ, hey, I love to fish, but I got to be right here. But uh, I was fishing one day, I said, I got any one story you think you got it here. I said I was fishing this year's skull rolled off of a bluff behind me. And then you know how big their teeth are, right? Right. One of the teeth broke, and I said, boy, that's a fresh prey. I, I could climb in. I can't climb down with it. So I cleared off the bluff, and I said, I, I'll be able to find that because look how big the other tooth is. I found this, and I think I'm not sure that I'm holding one of the teeth in one hand and the skull down. I got the skull down there. I'm starting to really see the, see the thing right I do, right there. And then here's another rare right thing in there. Did you see the, did you ever hear that poor lad down here from the British come from South Carolina? Was yeah. That? Okay. They far, they had 69 cannonballs here. Let me show you that too. Here, so. I mean, well, this is rare. Well, you know, anything that happens here, man, if you want to, you can go find it here. Yeah, look right here. Someone's here, yeah, right here. See the British? Okay, down this right here. When they come across, there wasn't no young buddy who was the Indians. They built four loud because I think they, they didn't want the British to side with the Indians. You know what? They had their own war between everybody. The Indians. So they come over here and built their own four. Four loud here. Now, they bought 69 cannonballs with them. Civil War cannonballs are millions and millions of them, but they're hard to find too. Right. But now they were only 69 cannonballs they brought across from South Carolina. You know how they set up over our first bridge did. Here's the France that's worried about the Indian side for Israel. They built that fort down here. Okay, anyway, anyway, they had 69 cannonballs. Now, here's the odds. What I say in that first, the odds of finding that. They fired down 69 cannonballs like 260, I don't know, 270 years ago, a long time ago. 69 of them existed. I have about two of them. I went down one day and I said, you all got cannonballs here? And they said, yeah, we got one. We got locked up. You know, because they just had one. Right. 
And they come up there and they laid on the desk with a thing, or, you know. I said, let me go up the house just a minute. I said, I think y'all going to get another cannonball. <laughs> I didn't tell them I had two more. <laughs> anyway, I took it down there. And, uh, we laid it right beside the others in the same size. The others had little white polka dots in the British when they made them. Somebody know you know what they special markings. You know white dots, why? Right. Okay, mine had the same little white, same size. And I said, I'll tell you what, I got Christ's bill, and you all gonna get this cannonball free. But I said, I need to press in here for the Christ, the Christ. So they had me too. There's another news. I thought that in there, I'm sure that you see that's that's that. amazing. That is just simply amazing. And they even dressed up with the children, dressed up like the British, to accept it. But and now here I give the other one to this year over in Greenback. It's my own hands over here. It's a, a historical society in Greenback, there. Right. It's a. Uh, and they probably, they was probably the old if you had his first time. I got a whole lot covered up. He's over week because this is precious here too, you know. Right. But you know what I'm telling you, the truth, that's the wall back there. See, see this year now. I got about a thousand or two down here, but they're my leftovers. And there's mm. four or five fakes, maybe eight or ten in here because people go to the car. Huh. I'm going to do one square at a time, though, and see, man. Right. And they go to the car and say, you put this in our frame, and he'll be made out of glass or plastic. So you know I'm going to put it in now. So you'll see thousands of them, probably a thousand, 1,500 of them down here, my leftovers. But you'll see like eight or ten fakes. That's how the eight or ten fakes, these are real, these are real arrowheads here. That's amazing. Yeah. What's in the back room back here, yeah. Mr. Banks? Yeah, pictures. <laughs> The same picture, the large picture, we're going to get to see a copy of the large picture in the world. Oh. I, need, I need to put them in cellophane, but I've got, I've got the copies, you know. Yeah. Pictures that rare, you better have copies, right? Yeah, that, that is so true. I'm to read me that, because I can't put them in cellophane. And look at the things used to be here. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of his name on the wall right there. Now they got Castle Man right in the middle. They moved that middle when I see the middle. Right. And, okay, well, let's be with you. Yeah, look on this one. I can't even get time to sweep it, man. This is the fake over there. This is the fake. I come out of the duck, but his eyes are just like a father's ears. Right. And I think the little squirrels when you see these woods here, but I'll get food away for a while, right? And this thing over here ain't got no power. But the wood look right here. Look here, it's a rare copy of the rarest picture in the world. Here's the state's name. There's two states and one local government guy. The secretaries went with them, so I knew the world better see this. So I'll put that there. Did you see the ghost standing in the door? I uh -huh. see an image there. You see, okay, it's a ghost, right? Right. It's carrying something that's square, like a book. It's made out of pure gold because it's pure yellow, right? And you see the book? That right is, I, I see an image. I see, yeah. Well, this square, too. You tell that's gold because look how yellow that it is. It is, yeah. I see the yellow plenty good. And look at the sun rays coming down. It ain't coming from the sun. That ground be pure white. Look at that, what, three, four hundred rays? You would think it would just so be coming, white, you would think. So it's coming from land, right? Yes, sir. Now, yes. somebody got a picture. I, I hope you get something, but it's, you know, it's a rarity because the state didn't think it was going to get anything. You see what they got. Right. That big university didn't think they got anything, but they did. You see, well, they stayed at there. And right here, somebody got one of Moses. Look here. One of Moses? Yeah, see the staff? See the arm? See the old man? It's got to be. I do. And you think that's Moses? Yeah. And right here, right here, I hope I'm, I got copies of this. I got copies of it. Even the historical side of was holding one of these for me because that's. That can't get away because the people know they're not coming back right. Right. They know. And right here, I hope I've got one of Paul wrote the Bible. I don't know where he him up. He's looking this way. But here's his eye. Here's his nose. Here's his lips. Here's his chin. He's got a beard. You see the man there? You see the image, yep. Yeah. It's just amazing what all what's all that's been shown. There's even a center here. I don't know if we allowed to show their names or something, but he's been here two or three times. He, he's missed me every time. I know he's been here more than one time where he stayed right. There. And that's a senator? Yeah. And right here's something here is working on some of the projects here. And, and that book the one they said they, they some of them government doctors didn't like to show you where they some of the centers send people down here. Then they all got together and they said, we've seen the evidence from each center 
you know, as they say that, they, not the sinners, but the people that say that, it says, uh, we at your service, okay? That's, that's in there, you want to that? That's, a, yeah, most yeah. definitely, yeah. Okay. I now, love to see that. Way, he thinks the way you want to move it, but you. No, you're 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 doing just great. I just. Oh, be with you. oh I won't. And the girlfriends, they didn't put the Halloween stuff up. Like that, I thought it be his birthday here, Christmas tree. <laughs> Yeah, look at this one. He's in that book too, but I hear the extra. I believe this is one says, I hear the details. They said something about when we send people out and they study the evidence of other sisters. Is that what he says? Something like that. Other sisters. Yep. And, uh, that is just, uh, you got so much proof here of everything. Hey, I'm telling you. I was a hero. I was even a hero of the. Uh, I don't call no names here, some or another. They used to have this standing party. I don't know who this kid had, but they left out the ladies and kids. Right. This crazy guy. This crazy guy. He had a shotgun. He then shot somebody. Back in, they didn't have cell phones and all that stuff. And I disarmed him. I disarmed him here. And I had both, my hands almost broke. You know, still on the cotton work. And that hell did I get work. At that time, and I bashed my hand. And uh, I, he was just about broke. I couldn't even really throw it up. Now I go in this woman, step down the porch and done my cast. We go, I go in there and I weigh 142 pounds. He weighed about 225 pounds. Look, me, he was all good at it. Had a 12 gauge shotgun, then I had the hammer back on. The hostages. And you can see one of them, see, see if it's the right one here. You're right. But, uh, I hey. talked to him, and when I was talking to him, he was slipping out the back way a little bit of time so he wouldn't notice. Now, when he finds out all that was going, he tries to kill me. I've got fights for life. I thank goodness that that guy he shot, he made it. But I thank goodness he threw that pistol away. Well, somebody that weighs you 80 pounds, you got a better chance if you got a shotgun, a pistol, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because those you hold on that shotgun, you Hit him pretty hard. You might have a chance. <laughs> you can. You you might have a. You might have a shot. Yeah. If he shoves you back, he's going to kill you. But the things are already caught. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now we fit in there a little bit. It seemed like we were probably just two couple of minutes. We fit on the porch and the The thing is, the thing is, okay, his nose was broken. <laughs> When he moved his head, the bone would even put the nose would even fall his head. Huh. All muscles, but blood's coming out this eye. Blood's coming out this eye. Blood's coming out of his lips here. Yeah, at least out of his mouth. Okay. Uh, now, then, he reached, I had a shotgun. He reached this, you call that look like a big old grizzly bird, man. He reached in that pocket, open that, but what he didn't realize, I think that shotgun, right to him. <laughs> I come that close, but I did. You, you, yeah. Uh, my life, I should have just stuck it. One of the ladies run back with a brick, and she seen how many he looked. She screamed, throw the brick up, turn off. <laughs> there were no cell phones in. They had to go to the other places you dial. Right. And, uh, that took pretty good long. They, they come. Now, all the thing the newspapers got wrong, wrong here, they said that he ran off. But see, I ran off. I had the shotgun. Right. I know the law was going to be there just... So, <laughs> so you left. I left, but they said no, he was. You know, I didn't call no names because he straightened up out of that. Made a preacher, man. And then a uh, little bit of that, he died. <laughs> <laughs> Had a heart attack, man. Something like that. This is just all amazing, Mr. I Banks. I store one time. He said, don't I know you? And I said, I don't think so. Good. <laughs> 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 I paid for it. Well, I might have got in front of him so I can get out of here. You know? I'm going to look at the back side of the wall out here. Uh, and, uh, I'll show you the pale horse gun. Where do you want to do it? Huh? Well, I seen where you had a bunch of Egyptian stuff on the wall back there or yeah, something. Come on down. 